Welcome to Chris Linford Co.UK Get Going Guides. Uh, we're going to have a little play with uh, rollovers uh, in Freeway and we're going to make a slave rollover. A slave rollover is where when I roll over this image, this is the button we've created before where it just swaps one image for another. When I roll over it, another image appears somewhere on the screen. And this is what happens on my home page uh, and it's very useful to keep your page uncluttered and to show lots of information uh, on there. So what I've done is I've created this uh, button and it's just a standard button, just a swap uh, image uh, button. But what I would need to do is to give some instructions to this image. So I've just imported an image from um, a digital camera and uh, Freeway will interpret it for me. But we need to give it an action and what I'm going to do is go down to actions and we go down to target show hide image and that means it's going to you can either show it or it can hide it and if I call up the actions window this is what it says so it says initially what do you want it to be do you want it to be visible or hidden well when I roll over I then want it to appear so I want it to be hidden to start with to restore that means when I roll off of it it disappears again or I could make it sticky so it stays uh, on there all the time but we'll keep it uh, to restore so it vanishes on and off. Preload means it loads in when the page comes in so you don't have to wait for it to load while you're rolling over and this is what's important is target group. We've got a whole range of different target groups so you can have absolutely hundreds of different rollovers and different effects working uh, within it. Indigo is the standard, we'll keep with that and then what we need to do is give it a target number. So each of these target groups has a range of 20 numbers that you can align. So each group can have 20 variables. We've only got one uh, for this sample. We're going to give this image the target number one. So we can close that off now. So what we do is we now click on the rollover button and tell it that we want this to trigger that image. So we open up this uh, rollover uh, action uh, from the button. So I've just gone to the actions uh, window. But this time we click on parameters. So this is mouse over items. Uh, we want we have got no click. Uh, we want it to restore, so it goes back to the original. Preload yes. To find targets top, and we're using target group one. And we want to give the target when it goes mouse over to show image number one. If we didn't want to use it, the default would be no. But if we do want to use it, we go to one. So number one is the image that's on the page. So now very clever little trick we go to preview it and we see what happens so there's our button on the page now when I roll over it not just just the rollover happen but the image appears and then disappears as I roll off and just to be aware of uh, the sticky command if we have a look at the actual window again if I tell it to be sticky it should stay there and then when we preview it again and it stays there so as I roll over it just stays there so I could make a whole load of other buttons appear in here and indeed this is how menus and things work you can have click roll over something and it does it so you don't need to click on items all the time uh, on your websites so Visit me at chrislinfordco.uk. You can download these files uh, from my uh, website as a zip file. Uh, and you can find me on iTunes and on YouTube.